Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video, we are going to take a look at how to add a little bit of flair to your form thank you pages. So without further ado, let's dive in. Here we are setting up a brand new Gravity Forms form and we're just gonna go ahead and do this from scratch. We'll click add new, we'll do a blank form. We'll make this a contact form and we'll click create blank. I'm gonna just build a super simple form here but this is where you would customize whatever you need to capture in your form. But we're gonna go ahead and just do a first name, last name field. And we're not gonna get into styling the form here. I'll leave a link down in the description below to another video I have where we can talk about how we style some of these form fields but we'll add a first name a last name uh, maybe we'll just have a single line text for something like uh, I don't know company name something like that and then you know you might have an email address and some other stuff but we'll just leave it pretty simple like this here let's go ahead and save our form and let's hover on settings and jump into confirmations now the default confirmation is just this little thank you for contacting us so what does that look like well let's go ahead and jump on the front end and kind of create our contact page right so let's go here we'll create a blank page as you guys know i'm a big fan of the cornerstone builder which is what we're using here today we'll go ahead and call this our contact page and we'll set this to publish now we'll start from scratch we'll create a new container and in this container here we're going to go ahead and drop our gravity form we can type in integration and we'll have our form integration element that we can pop into here we can then jump into our type jump down to gravity forms and find our contact form right here we can even enable ajax here and then save again we'll jump onto the front end and here's what our form looks like so with that standard confirmation that we were looking at here thanks for contacting us we'll get in touch shortly whatever else is in there kind of looks like this do hello world company name is my company when we submit this we just get a little text box that says thank you for contacting us we'll get in touch with you shortly and you know that's fine but we may want to add a little bit of flair to a thank you page similar to this so how would we go about doing that well we're actually going to do two things the first one is going to happen within your builder in our case this is cornerstone and so what we're going to actually do is create another section here so let's create a section we don't have to do this but for the sake of example i'm going to name this this is our thank you section okay and we want to make some sort of you know thank you confirmation here so we're going to create a new content box here within that content box we might put a headline in there something like this here maybe we just make this span and we make this i don't know let's call it four m's something like that bold and center it all right so we could do thank you then maybe we want a little bit of supporting text so we come in here and we just type in text so let's go ahead and jump in here turn flexbox on and kind of center everything there and I think that's looking pretty good let's add a little more vertical height here we're just going to do pixels for now uh, so fixed values uh, but something like this I think is looking pretty awesome now I want to add in an icon I want that icon to be a little bigger than that let's make it a check like thank you a confirmation that we received your submission maybe we make it kind of green so it feels like a positive action here so something like that then I actually want to turn on scroll effects here and I want to transform this and so when it comes in I like how it kind of fades up like that maybe we also add in just a little bit of rotation so let's add a transform here we want this to be rotate and I want it to rotate I don't know 45 degrees something like that let's go ahead and see what that looks like on the front end all right I like how that looks it kind of rotates in I don't know if you guys could see that there but it kind of flips in looks pretty good so uh this isn't this isn't really working how we want though right so we have our form and we have our thank you sort of both visible at the same time here's where some of the magic comes in so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this thank you section we created we're going to jump into customize we're going to go into conditions and we're going to add a condition for a query string or a query number you could do either one i'm going to go ahead and do a number actually come in here and type in parameter now we can select our query string parameter which is something that takes place in the url we're going to give it a key um, i'm making this up it's kind of arbitrary but we'll say our key is thank underscore you equals one so we only want to show that section which is now hidden when thank you in the url equals one okay if you need to keep working on it you simply jump up to your preview pane click ignore element conditions and we'll see our thank you section here just so we can work on it 
but when we view this on the front end, our thank you section is gone. But our thank you section will show back up when we type in question mark thank underscore you equals one to the end of our URL. So how do we pass that through to our URL from our form? Well, if we jump back into Gravity Forms here and we go into our default confirmation, we no longer want it to just be text on a page. We actually want to either redirect, or in this case, we're actually taking you to the same page, but we'll say we want confirmation type is page, what page, same page, so it's our contact page. But now when you reload, we want you to pass through thank underscore you equals one into the URL. So now when we save this, we jump back over to our contact form here and we fill this out my company now when we click submit it's going to pass that thank you equals one into the url bar and shows us this here but it's a little weird because we still see our form so let's jump back in here and we're going to do the same thing in reverse we're going to click on section one click customize conditions add condition number click here parameter thank underscore you does not equal one so we want to show the bottom one when it equals one and the top one when it does not equal one. So now when we go back, let's go ahead and refresh this. We have just our form, name, name, business, submit. Now, thank you equals one. So we only see the thank you section and the form is now hidden. Pretty cool, huh? Now we can even take this a step further and kind of animate this page out with something like Lottie. So let's go ahead and open up Lottie Files. Lottie Files is a great site for finding some lightweight Lottie animations. So we're going to just jump right in here and type in something like confetti just to make this look a little more modern and scroll down until we find one that we like. I really like this one here. So we'll go ahead and download this. We needed to log in. So with the magic of editing, I've gone ahead and logged in. And now we're going to go ahead and click on that download button and click on Lottie Jason here, which is what we want to download. That's downloaded to my desktop. So let's jump back over to our builder and let's figure out how we add something like that in. In our thank you section here, we are going to jump over to the left hand side here and hold down the command or the control key and you'll notice it changes add row to add element. We're going to add a div here. And right now the div is showing on the bottom section and that's fine. Let's go ahead and just give this a color so we can kind of see what's taking place here. We'll give it kind of a light blue. So here's what we want to do with this div. It's inside of our section here. So we're going to take this div. We're going to scroll down to the position of the div. And by default, it's going to be position relative. We're going to make that absolute, which is then going to kind of squeeze it over here. With it absolute, we are now going to change top to zero, right to zero, bottom to zero, and left to zero. And now you'll see it is actually taking up, if I hover on the section, it is taking up the full background of the section. Now we want to make sure it is on the background layer. So we might go into here and set this to negative one. Now you'll notice when I hover, I'm actually getting the section here. So in order to select our div in the future, we'll need to come over to our outline and select the div here, but that's fine because we shouldn't really have to touch this too much. So here we are inside of our div. Now, what do we want inside this div? Well, we actually want to click on add element and inside of here, we want the Lottie element. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now with the Lottie element added in, we're going to inspect the Lottie element. We are going to provide the JSON, but you could just do the URL as well. We're going to open this up and we're going to use the JSON from our file that we had just downloaded and just copy paste that into here. Now you see something taking place in the background there with our confetti. Now we want our trigger to be autoplay. We don't want this to loop, so I'm going to leave loop animation off. Obviously, you could turn that on if that was something you wanted to add. I think everything else here is probably pretty good. Our speed multiplier, we're just going to keep that at one. And we don't really want a delay because we want it to be the first thing that happens on page load. So so I'm actually going to go ahead and leave this blue background here just because I think it looks good and you'll kind of see the difference between submitting the form and then getting our thank you prompt. Let's jump over to our contact page here. We'll type in first name, last name, business name. And now when I click submit and it passes that thank you parameter equals one into the URL, I'm going to get a nice little thank you screen with a little bit of confetti and things are looking pretty good. Now, obviously, you guys would want to add your own styles to this, but hopefully this helps point you in the right direction in adding a little bit of flair to your form thank you pages. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.